those names Banjo Patterson, Andrew Barton, the shearer sat in the firelight, hearty and hale and strong, after the hard day's shearing, passing the joke along, the end quo, ringer and quo, that shower hundred, as they never were shorn before, and the novice who, toiling bravely, had Tommy hoped half a score, the tarboy, the cook in the scushy, the sweeper that swept the board, the picker-up, and the penner, with the rest of the shearing horde. There were men from the inland stations, where the skies like a furnace glow, and men from Snowy River, the land of frozen snow. There were swarthy Queensland drovers who reckoned all land by miles, and farmers' sons from the Murray, where many a vineyard smiles. They started at telling stories when they wearied of cards and games, and to give these stories flavor they threw in some local names. Then a man from the bleak Monaro, away on the Tableland, he fixed his eyes on the ceiling, and he started to play his hand. He told them of a gentooth bong, where the pine-clad mountains freeze, and the weight of the snow in summer breaks branches off the trees, and, as he warmed to the business, he'll let them have it strong, Numatibel, Canargo, Weeo, Bongonglong. He lingered over them fondly, because they recalled to mind the thought of the bush homestead, and the girl that he left behind. Then the shearers all sat silent till a man in the corner rose. Said he, Amperson Quo. I've traveled a plenty, but never heard names like those. Out in the western districts, out in the Castlery most of the names are easy, short for a man to say. You've heard of Mungri Bambone, and the Gunda Bluey Pine, Quaboda, Giri Lombone, and Turamun Gamin, Quambone, Unoni Hariniha, Wiwa and Buntio, Amperson Quo. But the rest of the shearer stopped him, Amperson Quo. For the sake of your jaw, go slow, if you reckon those names are short ones out where such names prevail, just try and remember some long ones before you begin the tale. Amperson Quo. And the man from the western district, though never a word he said, just winked with his dexter eyelid, and then he retired to bed.